The Navy has unveiled its latest concept for DDG-X, the next-generation large surface combatant that will replace the service's workhorse warship, the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. While still early in its development cycle, Katie Connolly, the deputy program manager for the DDG-X, said Wednesday a fundamental decision the service had to make about the ship from the outset was whether to upgrade the combat system or the hull form. History has shown trying to do both at the same time has ended poorly, she said. Flight 3 is a highly capable combat system, she told the Surface Navy Association's National Symposium, referring to the last variation of the Arleigh Burke class. We just finished spending a lot of money to develop a lot of that. It's still highly relevant. Connolly added, however, that the hull form shown in the concept image is not representative of the ship and that the service has not settled on a specific design yet. Service officials have previously said and Connolly echoed the sentiment on Wednesday that the Navy has effectively maximized the capabilities and technology planned for Flight 3, a class still relatively early on in construction itself. Those vessels will feature the Spy 6 Volts 1 radar and the latest iteration of the Aegis weapon system, known as BASELINE-10. A concept image of the ship shown at SNA features several high-energy lasers including one 150kW weapon forward of the superstructure and positioned just behind what could be 32 Mk-41 vertical launching systems or 12 large missile launchers. The ship could potentially also power two 600kW high-energy lasers positioned towards the stern.to reduce the risk of building the new vessel, land-based testing sites for the hull form, and its integrated power system are planned to be built at Navy Warfare Centers in Pennsylvania and Maryland. The Chief of Naval Operations in December 2020 approved the top-level requirements for DDG-X, a preliminary step that provides a framework the service must work to when designing the ship. Connolly said employees from Huntington Ingalls Industries and General Dynamics Bath Iron Works, the country's shipbuilders primarily responsible for building the Navy's previous destroyers, were brought aboard the Navy's DDG-X team in March. Having them part of the team helps us to inform the design process and helps us to make the right decisions as to how we can actually afford to build the ship and how producible is the design she said. However, the size of the ship and estimated costs for the program remain unclear. A new warship program will run more than $1 billion per hull, given the cost to construct a new Arleigh Burke and the developmental costs of the Constellation-class frigate, FFG-62. The program office is now working with the defense industry to refine the basic design after creating a draft capability development document that will hone the operational requirements. Part of that work will be done by the shipbuilding industrial base. One of the key things that we're finding from that is the upfront and early engagement of industry to help us inform our design decisions, our design process. And by doing that, that will enable us to design a platform that is both producible and affordable in the future. So industry will be part of that decision trade space as we move through the design process, Connolly said.